This case study provides a basic overview of a sample project including a Pro Commander LX and up to two Pro VP video players combined in an interactive display setting. We've created some basic Pro Commander LX and Pro VP templates to utilize for this case study, which can also be downloaded at the link below in the video description. So let's start by going over the hardware configurations we will be using for this case study. Each Pro Commander LX will be providing master control for one or possibly two Pro VPs. Each Pro VP provides two HDMI video outports. For this project, these will be configured as independent, so essentially two separate video players within one Pro VP device. For reference and template purposes, we are referring to each Pro VP HDMI output as player one and player two. For the first Pro VP on an LX, it would be player 1-1 and player 1-2. If a second Pro VP is connected to the LX, it would be player 2-1 and 2-2 respectively. The templates are configured for up to two Pro VPs on a Pro Commander LX. It's assumed there's a single push button at each location for triggering videos, basically one Pro VP video port, or as we're calling them here, players per location providing that video playback. But we'll discuss video playback more in a minute. The templates are also configured as LX push button input one triggers LX show one, Push button input 2 triggers LX show 2 and so on. The Pro Commander LX also provides audio playback via 16 possible line out ports. Keep in mind, triggering of audio for LX shows is per pair, so line out 1 plus 2, 3 plus 4, and so on. Let's also assume simple DMX out levels of high-low are being provided by the LX to a lighting console for cues to trigger lighting shows within each exhibit area, for which sample DMX tracks will be provided in the templates as well. Please note the provided IP and port addresses for each of the Wiggle devices here on the diagram. These are the addresses required for the provided templates. In regards to the ProVP video playback, at system startup, an attract video will be triggered to loop on each HDMI output. Upon triggering a push button, a video will be immediately played. When that triggered video is complete, the attract will loop again. This process is handled entirely via UDP network commands sent from the Pro Commander LX to each video player's associated network port, directing the player to play and loop the videos at the appropriate time. Each Pro VP has a unique IP address, and each player within the Pro VP has a unique port address, which is how we will distinguish between each player over the network for UDP command control. We'll outline the procedure for configuring these settings in this video and also provide this diagram for reference in PDF form with the sample template files. Note the file naming convention here for the video files. This is important as the provided templates utilize these specific file names for the logic. The previous hardware flowchart lists all associated file names for the templates. Basically, each of the two HDMI outports on a Pro VP have an attract and a triggered video. HDMI port 1 video file names would be HDMI 1 underscore attract 1.mp4 and HDMI 1 underscore video 1.mp4. If final media is uploaded using this same naming convention in MP4 format on each Pro VP, the logic on the provided templates can be used as is for your particular project with no changes in respects to the video triggering commands at each player. Also keep in mind any capitalization in file names is on and must be adhered to for Logic 2 function properly. One other note regarding videos, for seamless instant transitioning on the basic Pro VP model, the frame rate, dimensions, and encoding of each video must match. Otherwise, a few frames of black may be present between videos. I'm going to quickly overview the steps involved in configuring the Pro VPs for the provided project templates. Each Pro VP player will need to be configured for IP settings, switch to multiplayer mode, and you'll also need to upload your videos. I will outline this in context of the templates and sample media we've provided for a single LX with a 2 Pro VP configuration. Set your computer to an IP address in the range of the Pro VP number 1, which is 10.0.0.109 by default, and will be the address we will use for the first Pro VP in the provided templates. Connect your computer to the Pro VP Ethernet port 1 and open a web browser. Type in the Pro VP number 1 IP address, which again is 10.0.0.109. See the ProVP manual for information on also connecting to the ProVP via DHCP on Ethernet port 2 or via the device network name on either port if desired. Once connected, confirm the latest firmware version is at least the version shown here or newer. The default login credentials are admin and password, which can be changed at any time under the system device setup. 
The Pro VP will first need to be set to multiplayer mode to allow the two onboard HDMI outputs to function separately as independent players for this case study. This is done by going to the video setup and clicking on the multiplayer mode button. The active mode will be displayed in green and the Pro VP will reboot after the mode is changed. The Pro VP IP address can be set under the network setup menu for Ethernet 1, which should also be displayed as currently connected to your computer. For the first Pro VP in our template setup, we'll leave it as 10.0.0.109. Note the UDP port settings are under the Video Player Setup menu should you choose to change them for use of these templates in your projects. For the case study, we will be using the default ports 5236 and 5237 for the players on both the Pro VP number 1 and Pro VP number 2 units. The last step is loading media onto each Pro VP. Navigate to System Media Files and click the Upload button. Then navigate to the four sample videos we have provided and proceed to upload them to the Pro VP. This completes the configurations on the first Pro VP for our provided templates. Repeat these steps for the second Pro VP with the only difference being the IP address, which should be 10.0.0.11. These same procedures would follow for any additional Pro VP should this template be utilized for a project requiring more, with only the IP addresses and, if desired, the UDP port settings being different. Just keep in mind all conductor logic outlined in the next section of this guide will need to be adjusted for the chosen IP addresses and UDP ports, as well as any video command triggers if videos of different file names than those in the templates are uploaded. For this case study, Conductor will be the software package used for programming the Pro Commander show timelines. It should be noted that Wiggle's Mac-based software, ShowForge, could also be used, which would be a little more simplified with a few less steps involved. See other case studies in WiggleControls.com for more information regarding ShowForge. Let's now look at the conductor templates we have provided, which consist of five shows for use in our sample setup of a Pro Commander LX and the two Pro VPs we configured in the previous section. Four of these shows will be triggered via push-button inputs one through four out at each scene, and the fifth show is a startup show to set the video players to loop, as well as include any other other desired lighting or audio attract playback for each scene upon system boot up. Connect to a network switch, a Pro Commander LX, and the now configured Pro VP number one and number two units, along with a computer which is running conductor. It will also be helpful to have monitors connected to two of the HDMI outputs on at least one of the Pro VPs to review the provided templates. Temporary wiring of closure inputs one through four at the back of the Pro Commander LX is also suggested, as these are utilized in the templates. Please refer to the Pro Commander LX manual for push button closure input wiring diagrams. Open the conductor file labeled as LX Show 100. Startup. Under the Deployment tab, click on the Discover Devices to ensure the Pro Commander LX is connected and has an IP address of 10.0.0.101. If not, be sure to set the IP to the .101 address and click the Save Permanently button. Note I'm using a Pro Commander PHX for this demo, but you should see the Pro Commander LX for your listed device. For each provided conductor show, we have created tracks on the timeline for LX logic commands, Pro VP logic commands, eight pairs of audio out, and a DMX channel. In the case of this startup show, the DMX track includes channels 1 through 4. There is also a video track for use as programming reference of the videos which will be triggered at the Pro VPs. You will see there are four commands at the beginning of the Pro VP command track. These are the commands for triggering the looping videos at each player. Each ASCII UDP command being sent to the Pro VPs consists of the Pro VP IP address and port for the associated player, followed in quotes by the action command, in this case loop, and then the associated video file to loop. See the Pro VP manual for further information on available Pro VP commands and visit Waggle.com for information regarding the Waggle ASCII WIM script commands. Any of the commands can be immediately live tested by clicking on the test button or playing the timeline and viewing the monitor connected to the associated Pro VP. The video test files are labeled consistently with their file name, which has also been utilized within the logic. Now open the conductor file labeled LX1 Show 1 VP1 1 Video 1. Note in this show we have included some sample audio for audio outputs on 1 and 2 as well as a DMX output on track 1, but also note the Pro VP commands in the show are a bit different. Since this is a show initiated by push button number 1, we have a command to play HDMI 1 video 1 on Pro VP 1-1, followed by a finally command for immediately returning to looping the HDMI 1 attract 1 on Pro VP 1-1 when the triggered video is complete. The remaining three conductor shows all follow the same format, but are triggering shows for the associated button input at the related Pro VP and HDMI output. Refer to this configuration diagram for reference on the videos associated with each Pro VP player.
So with these templates, a complete functioning system has been configured with all the required logic ready for deployment and playback, but more about deployment in a minute. For your convenience, we have also saved to the library each command used within the templates for quick drag and drop access. All that's required is editing the IP and port addresses appropriately for each on-site system. Also, as previously noted, a video track has been included in each of the conductor timeline templates. This can be used as a reference for the videos being played on the ProVPs while programming the show timelines. The ProVP template videos applicable to each timeline have already been imported in the show files and can be drag and drop to the video track. Aligning them with the video command triggers will provide a real-time reference to what's being played at the ProVP at any given point along the timeline. As a side note, this video preview option is possible in Showforge as well, but with the ability to preview up to four video tracks simultaneously. A set of LX card files generated from these show templates has already been provided. You can copy these files directly to an SD card and insert into the LX for testing. To deploy a new set of card files, click on the Deployment tab. A deployment file has already been created containing all the necessary template shows. You'll notice the logic for the LX button inputs has been created for you in the customized control.ini pane. There is currently logic for four button inputs which each trigger the show number associated with the button. Button 1 triggers conductor show 1 and so on. The logic can be revised as needed. Visit Waggle.com for more information regarding the Waggle ASCII WIM script command. Once the files have been deployed to a local folder, they can be copied onto the SD card and inserted into the LX for playback. We hope this case study has been helpful in understanding the steps involved in configuring a Waggle system consisting of a Pro Commander LX and multiple Pro VP players in an interactive display application. Feel free to use these templates with your future projects and contact us with any questions at support at wagglecontrols.com or visit us at faq.waggle.support for product information, manuals, and tutorials.